Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I'd say it's a happy WrestleMania day. It is. It is WrestleMania 33 day. Um, yeah, I'm weird. And it's bright. Oh, you can't really see because I blocked it out. But you kind of see some natural sunlight, maybe. Yeah. Um, we have something super, super special today. As For us, see. it's very special. We have Haze by Treehouse. This is their uh, this is their double IPA, uh, 8.2%. One of their more regular offerings. Um, I'm just super excited. Yeah. No, <laughs> I am too. What is the? Uh, do you want to give a brief synopsis of the description while I'm? Uh... Uh, the commercial description is: uh, We constructed this beer around hops we currently have plenty of access to, allowing us to rebrew it on a rel- relatively consistent basis. We smell a ton of orange on the nose, with complementary notes of peach and passion fruit. The flavor is similar, with a blast of citrus fruit and orange, quickly followed by a spicy grapefruit and earthy dankness. A lingering but pleasant hop oil finish awaits. Yeah. So this is the second treehouse we've had. We had um, Very Green. Uh, Mike and I have never had Haze before. Um, we've had Julius. We've had a couple other other offerings, but we've only had Very Green on this particular podcast. Well, video cast, whatever we're calling this. <laughs> yeah, we can <laughs> change it up a lot. Yeah. Get a good look at this. And, and obviously we have our, um, our, our treehouse Tiku glasses. Which we love. Don't use enough. Don't we don't? Uh, yeah, this looks like this looks like pineapple orange juice. It almost, does, right? This, yeah, this looks like like a brunch beverage. You have a nice finger ahead on yours. Yeah, it's literally one finger. Yep, and, and it's like really like frothy and yep. Oh, uh, and, this, and, and look look at look at that stick. It just goes beautiful. This can is uh, what's today the second of April. It was yep. canned on the twenty second, so that's what. Oh, it's just super fresh. <laughs> like a little over a week old. Yeah. Let's get a nose. Yes, sir. Oh. Papaya. You're getting like that oh. grapefruit bith. A pith. Like the bith. <laughs> grapefruit bith. Yeah. Grapefruit, uh, that, that pithiness is really the kind yeah. of dominant nose. Yeah. I think I was trying to say like grapefruit bitterness and yeah. pith at the same time. But yeah. You're definitely getting like that peachy kind of thing going too. Oh, yeah. Lots of peaches. Papaya. Pretty much everything that says on the can. Fresh peach, papaya, orange juice. Yeah. You, you almost like, like orange rind. Yep. It's really nice. So this. Cheers. Cheers, sir. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God damn. That, that is, is... That's delicious. That is so sweet. But, but not... It's not like overwhelming. It's, it's sweet. Then it goes right into a nice bitter, bitter, bitter finish. Yeah. But not over. Oh wow! Wow, that's great. It does not drink eight point two percent. No, you gotta you gotta be careful. You can drink. You can. I could, I could crush it. Yeah. You're getting so much peach on that peach papaya. Yeah. I'm not getting as much orange as I expected. No. No. Yeah, you're getting like so much peach. In the pie, like I already said, and like the, in, in, in the way that they say gentle bitterness, it's perfect. Yeah, and I'm getting like a really like an, like an earthiness to it, almost yeah. the bitterness. It's 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 really nice. Yeah, it's just it, it finishes real real nice. It's a, it's for sure a treehouse beer. Oh yeah, it almost has like that like I think I said this in another review the, on Friday like almost that like fruit salad. Yeah, yeah, ambrosia yeah. type like sweet like fruity sweetness. Yeah, we don't get that like that marshmallow thing you were going for the mm-hmm. other day. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is yeah, this is this is like a fruit salad, like you said. Very much like that tropical fruit. Yeah, no, we're, yeah, we're not sure what the hops are, but some people are suspecting um, citrus, amarillo, uh, amarillo, mosaic, uh, mosaic. Yep. Well, I can see the mosaic for sure. Citra, I don't really get. I'm not getting as, but yeah, I don't know. Either way, this is just oh, it's, fantastic. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is this is great. Um, first bid. Why don't you take this one? What? Why don't you take this one? <laughs> I don't want to say five, but it's like it's one of those beers that you just want to keep drinking and drinking. I guess I, I could. I'll, I'll say four and three quarters. I can go with that. Yeah, this is just. Yeah, this is great. If I can imagine having a four pack and it disappearing in an evening, easy. Did someone just die out there? Probably. Someone just probably died out there. That's we're <laughs> gonna find out what that is in a second. <laughs> You'll probably be very upset. <laughs> um, but <laughs> funny what you just said. You could definitely see yourself getting a four pack of this and crushing it. 
there's a chance you get to treehouse and you can't even buy four of these beers at one time. Hundred percent true. Yeah. Yep. Um, but most of the time, I think it's like it's six per like the tree. You know, if you go to treehouse, it's like it's it's two hours from us, and like it's a trek for some people. The lines are always crazy. Um, sometimes you go there and you get three cans, or you walk out with just a growler. Yeah, and it's. It really sucks to make it all that way and come out come out with nothing. It's extremely, extremely well crafted beer. It's amazing beer. It's some of the best beer I've ever had. Yep. Every time I have it. Yep. But is it worth the trek? Every now and then, I would say probably. Well, I mean, if, if you can get out of there with something, it's worth it. Yeah. But if if you go there and come up with almost nothing, it really sucks. Like last time, I would have came home with. Well, if it wasn't for Kerry who was with me, I would have came home with three cans and like two growlers. Like yeah, and, and, and that that's four hours of driving and then a couple of hours of waiting. It was a two and a half hour wait for the growlers. Yeah. yeah so it's like, at that point, yeah, it's really good. But uh, you know, yeah, you gotta you gotta you gotta weigh. Like you know, I, I like going to, I like going to to Trillium and Night Shift because those are closer. But also, I know what I'm going to get when I walk out of there. Yes, exactly. You know? Yeah. All right, enough rambling. All right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, four and three quarters for Treehouse's Haze, their um, double IPA. Well, one of their many double IPAs. Well, this is about as well-crafted an IPA as you're going to find. Yeah. It doesn't drink like a double either. No. Yeah. It was just so much sweetness in it, so much... Mm. Damn, that's delicious. It's just so much. It's just, it literally is like a fruit salad. Yep. That's great. I know there are a lot of beers where like a lot of people say peach and stuff like that, but this is like where the like I this is the most peach I've ever gotten yeah. in, in 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 a beer in a while. I've gotten I've gotten plenty of peach. This is just a different like level of uh Yeah. It's it, it's almost like fresh squeeze fresh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's just, different. It's, yeah, it's, it's, different. it's hard to describe, but if you guys ever, if, if 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 anyone's had this beer, I think you know exactly what we're talking about. Um, so yeah, if you've had it, in that case, comment, like, and uh, also don't forget to subscribe. And then uh, nerdsense.net from there, you can get everywhere else we post. Uh, I'm Sean, and I'm Mike, and, and this, this is Nerd Sense Drinks. Drinks.